Right, so here is a Dell PC, Dell Latitude. Where are you? This is 3330. Yes, 3330 PC. Yeah, that is the model. So, according to the owner of this PC, he said that the PC is not booting. But it just show a kind of a partition. It will complain about partition. So I'm going to plug it in and see how it behaves. <coughs> so plug in power. There is a power display. There is a display. And are you beaten? All right. Here is it. Invalid partition table. You see that right? That right there. Invalid partition table. Okay, so how will this one be solved? Um, right, so I will attempt to boot through my flash and see. So turn off. Here's my flash. So this is my flash. It is a bootable, so I will attempt to boot from it so that I will look at if the hard drive. This is F to F. Yeah, preparing boot menu. So. All right, this USB storage device. This is my flash. Same valid partition table. Hmm. <coughs> Same valid partition table. So I will use another flash. So plug in, control or delete. Then F2, F2 access the boot menu. Hmm, yep. So USB storage. This is legacy. All right, same in the partition table. So I will use um, that is UEFI. UEFI. This right here, UEFI boot. Okay. Aha. So here's a problem. So I can't enter the UEFI, this password. So I have to pull the password. Okay. Enter the password and enter, enter, no way. Oof. I think this piece was gotten this this way. So the UEFI is being password, I can't enter it. All right, escape. Let me use F2. F2 in order to access the BIOS setup. So here's the BIOS setup. Mm -hmm. uh, secure boots. Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, uh. disabled, secure boot. Okay, mm -hmm. so here is unlock. That means I have to press in order to access the secure boot. I have to use password. Uh, okay, let me see. Drive. I have to unlock. Ouch, ouch, ouch. I can't do anything before to before I can edit anything in BIOS. I have to unlock the BIOS. I have to, but there's no password. So this is a very difficult place to be. Boot sequence. I have to unlock before I can make any changes. And as it is, this is legacy, yeah? It's in legacy. So for me to use you if I need a password. Okay, let's turn off. So that means I'm going to go. There are two methods here. Number one could be that I will remove the BIOS. Right, I remove the BIOS chip, then wipe it off in order to remove the password from the UEFI, then write another BIOS firmware on it. That is number one, in order for me to unlock the UEFI. Yeah, that's number one. Number two is since I can't do anything, maybe like um, I can't boot from my from my flash. So this flash is UEFI. All right, both flash. Decide I made a, I make a legacy table enough for me to be able to do that before i go further let me check the integrity of this of this thing right here all right so here is the 320 gig and so here is it. it is up so i want to check the earth of this disk and check the earth that is um each descent in there. Where are you? 
All right, it's under diagnostics. Is the sentiment. So this is drive E. Drive E. This is right here. It is okay, Toshiba. All right, so the drive is perfect. It is okay. So next will be, I will try to, yes, boot this. I'll try to boot this as an external and see what will happen. Why are you taking time to? Oh, yes, external. Yeah, that is external USB hard drive. It's working. So as it is, I'm booting from from this drive. So it's going to deploy. Though it's going to take time because this is hard drive. So it is working. This it is booting. This is Windows 10. Yeah, this Windows 10 is booting. Because this is hard drive, not SSD, so it's going to take a lot of time. Yeah, it's going to take a lot of time. Well, I think I, I'm going to turn you off. Well, I'm going to add you as external. Yes. Power on F12. Yes, F12. Then scroll down to USB storage. Same valid. Yeah, you see. The problem persists. The problem persists. So clearly, the problem is not from the drive, but the problem comes from the. Yes, from the board. But then, what could cause this invalid partition table? Yeah, we're going to see. The next thing I'm going to do is there are two shapes here for the BIOS. So, what I'm going to do is to spot the BIOS and just flash a new BIOS on it. Okay?
clearly, when the person got this PC, this hard drive was, you know, the partition of the hard drive was UEFI, okay? That is EFI mode, not legacy mode, all right? So as the battery of the person gets spoiled, so that means the system reverted to, the PC reverted to legacy mode. Make changes in the BIOS, you need to unlock it, it has a password. So that caused a problem. Okay, so I extracted the BIOS, I tried to unlock it. The unlocker could not recognize it, could not recognize, you know, unlockable content. So I downloaded another one, well, I've already downloaded another one from Bad Caps. So both the 4MB and the 8MB. Although this EZP gave me a problem. At first, it did not recognize. It said, it reported that the 8MB was empty. But then at the end of the day, it recognized the 8MB. It recognized the content in the 8MB. Yeah, that is that. Then the 4MB. So I wiped everything off, then downloaded the new one. So I wrote the new one on the ship, on the BIOS ship. So that automatically will remove whatever the, buy, uh, the password on the UEFI. Okay. And look at the PC. PC is working. Look at it. Yeah. And this is the name of the person. So this is working. Good. So invalid partition table. So now to solve the invalid partition table simply means that the partition on the disk is different from the partition, like the mode, the boot mode that the PC is, is, is on. Yeah. So you need to make these settings in order to take, for example, now this drive, it is UEFI mode. Why the setting is in legacy? That's why it reported invalid partition mode. Will, you follow the steps, yeah? I, I started with the drive. I started with, you know, try to observe the motherboard. I could not find anything. So next is just to write another firmware on the BIOS chip. And it is working, yeah? Why I could not make changes in the BIOS because the BIOS was passworded. So I had to remove the password. Then I make this needed changes. Boom. It's working. 